Welcome back, everyone. You know, we've been highlighting teachers making a difference in their classrooms and beyond to mark the end of this crazy school year. Yeah, class of 2020. But for one local teacher, the end of this school year also marks the end of her 30 year career. Joining us now is Mrs. Tracy Hilton. Mrs. Tracy Hilton, it is so great to see you. Newly hey. retired from Poe Elementary. <laughs> and my goodness, first of all, you don't look old enough to have taught for 30 years, but how are you feeling right now? I'm excited. Um, it was a obviously strange way to end your teaching career. Um, I was not able to say goodbye the way you would want to. Um, however, my parents and children were able to make it really special for me with a drive by that just meant so much. And um, just miss their hugs, but I know eventually I'll be able to come back and get that. Well, we know that you had this big retirement party parade that you referenced, Ms. Hil Mrs. Hilton. And what's really important, I think, to, to recognize is when you're talking about you miss the hugs and the kisses and all of that, we're talking about first graders. <laughs> so your kids, um, are you know this is a, a little bit different it's not the older kids that don't want to hug their teachers right i right. mean first graders that's kind of hard to be away from them right absolutely um you know when all of this started and we had to go remote um you know we had that sort of spring break and then we had a week where we did nothing and then we were supposed to go on and i just couldn't wait that long i jumped right in to starting to do zoom with my students the week after spring break because, you know, we need each other in this time of uncertainty. We did, needed to know that everybody was okay and we were all still here for each other and we were still a community. So, and, and sorry to jump in, Mrs. Hilton, but now that no. you are retired officially, what are your plans? What will you do next? So we are actually moving to Oregon. Um, I have an eighth grade now, ninth grade um, son. And so we are moving to hopefully really enjoy the outdoors and experience something different. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what else will happen. Um, I am a little bit concerned about what I'm going to do for health insurance. Teacher retirement system does offer health insurance, but it's very expensive. It's a third of what I'll be getting from my retirement income. And so, you know, I don't know. I'll figure out if I go back into teaching full time or whether I pursue something different. So I'm sure the workforce is not done for me completely interesting okay so maybe this is just a pause right maybe an yes. unofficial retirement well we do have some special messages for you mrs hilton from, from some of your students okay thank you Ms. hilton for being a great teacher from home Thank you, Ms. Hilton, for Zooming with me. Thank you, Ms. Hilton, for all our Zoom calls. And I miss you. Thank you, Ms. Hilton, for everything you do. Thank you, Ms. Hilton, for making distance learning fun. I wish we were still in school. Hi, Ms. Hilton. Um, you're such a good teacher. When you're being really nice and teaching me new things. And I hope you have a good retirement. Bye. I mean, Mrs. Hilton, how are you feeling after hearing those special messages? Oh my goodness. You know, it's it's been hard to, um, <sighs> um, it's been hard to not be with them. And obviously <laughs> that makes it harder. Um, I do know that I am still friends with so many of their families and I know they are not out of my life completely. That's the one thing about our school that makes it so incredibly special is the collaboration of 
the teachers and the parents together and the sense of we're family. And I know that I will keep up with them and see them, see those little precious kids grow and hear about their successes. And I, I you know, I can't wait for that. Yeah, their sweet faces and their sweet little voices. I also think it's really cool, something you did uh, that we have to tell our viewers about. Instead of getting retirement gifts, I know a lot of parents wanted to do something for you at the end of this school year to mark your retirement, Mrs. Hilton. But in lieu of gifts, you actually sent an email to parents asking them to help a certain family, the Rodriguez family. I understand they were displaced from their apartment because they had this massive issue with black mold. Can you tell us more about them? Well, um, Ben, the student, was the last student on that video. And um, Marissa, his mother, was very involved in Poe. And she was part of um, a reading program that some parents organized where they come in and help kids who are struggling with reading. And she was just a really supportive mother all year. Um, and great to me and so when they had this situation where they had to leave their home like right away everything um it just was so traumatic and what can we do and so i reached out to our principal and said can we help what can we do and so they got on it the pto got on it and then i sent out a message to my parents as well as the PTO message to the school that said, please help um, if you can. And so hopefully I know that they and were able to get some assistance. Thank goodness. Well, Mrs. Hilton, you know, here at Houston Life, we love a great story. We love shining the spotlight on people, especially teachers. And we also really love surprises here. And we have a surprise for you. The Rodriguez family is here on the call too. Say hi to mom and dad, Jacob and Marissa, and also Anna and Ben. Congratulations on your retirement. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad things are better for you. We're getting better. Amen. Thank you for your help and your support. We're so appreciative of it. You've been amazing at helping coordinate and orchestrate that support. <laughs> and to the Rodriguez family, you, you guys are like a picture perfect family, right? I love the big smiles on your faces. Tell us a little bit more about your situation because as Mrs. Hilton just mentioned, you had pretty much zero notice to move out of your place. The black mold was so bad. I understand you had to vacate the apartment and you couldn't even take your belongings with you because they were also affected by this mold. Yeah, it was a complete surprise to all of us. Um, you know, it started off real simple with um, just, per, you know, a consistent degree of infections and things like that, the illnesses that were going on that we couldn't explain. And one day I found a water spot in one of our closets and, you know, called in maintenance and that prompted a quick conversation that opened air vents and opened some spaces and next thing you know we found that there's mold everywhere um, we called in a mold inspector who <laughs> we called in a mold inspector who was able to come and do an actual inspection and unfortunately deemed it uninhabitable you know and that really caught us by surprise right off the bat he said you know this is not good for your health the health of your family you need to get out now my goodness and you also had to have some medical treatments is that right Yes, um, we actually ended up having to go to Dallas where there's a specific clinic for families of what's happened to us. And the levels of the toxins in our bodies were really, really high. So they used hyperbaric oxygen therapy. We all did uh, several sessions of that, uh, which we had amazing improvement, immediate improvement. And then now for <laughs> for the long That's haul, we'll have to um, do some other things just to help uh, keep getting all of the, the the toxins out of our bodies and our healing our organs and everything that was damaged. How, what was your response when you heard that Mrs. Hilton, in, in lieu of gifts, she had actually asked people to rally around your family and help? literally my jaws hanging still even to the day because that is such a selfless act um so much in character with her um i i 
all I can say is thank you and, and just we continue to pray blessings over her. This happened so suddenly and we were always in communication over Ben anyway and she was one of the very first calls and within minutes we had support uh, because of her which just thank you and we're amen. So grateful. It was an answer to prayer for us. It's incredible. Mrs. Hilton, you should be very proud. I'm so glad I could help. Well, I know after uh, losing everything, it's probably hard to say or do anything that's going to immediately change your situation. But uh, to the Rodriguez family, we have heard you are all big fans of the Astros. Heard of them. Yes. So one of our friends of Houston Life has a very special message for your family. But before we play that message, we got to take a quick commercial break. Ooh, how's that for a tease? We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> And we are back with the newly retired teacher, Mrs. Tracy Hilton and the Rodriguez family. As we mentioned before the break, Ms. Hilton is celebrating her retirement after 30 years of teaching. And the Rodriguez family, well, the youngest son, the Ben, was in her class this year. And they are on their way to recovery after mold poisoning in their home. My goodness, it is such a shocking story. I'm glad you guys got out of there and you're on the mend right now. Before the break, we had also mentioned you're all all big fans of the Astros so we reached yeah. out to one of our favorite players and uh, guess what folks he has a very special message for your family hey Rodriguez family I'm Carlos Correa hope you guys are doing better and I uh, hope to see you guys soon here in Houston in the meantime though I'm gonna send you guys a special gift take care <laughs> okay so wow. you, are you curious okay. about the special gift you want to know very, what it is? very curious <laughs> Okay, it's a signed Carlos Correa jersey wow. and an autographed photo. So I know that doesn't totally replace what you lost, but you know, hopefully it's new and improved. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> Benjamin, that's like super cool. And guys, <laughs> Thank guess you what? So much, guys. That is not all. That's not all. Hang on. The families of the other kids in Mrs. Hilton's class have been hard at work putting together a surprise for you guys. Today, you're also getting, listen up here, a $1,500 to Ashley Furniture with an opportunity to shop your way via FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, or Zoom. And there's more, hang on. $500 check donation from Harold Reese Jewelry, a $200 gift card to Stanton's Meats, and 50 gift, fifty dollar gift cards for I know the kids are gonna love this, probably mom and dad too, raising canes and a <laughs> swag bag for kids with lunch kits, toys, and coloring books. Wow. That <laughs> oh, nice stuff I think now they're fighting who wants the stuff to <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what what did wow. Anna just say? I got hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. What well, thank you guys so much. I think Anna wants to say something. Oh, maybe she needs a moment, but uh, tell her to say, want the stuff to please. I want the stuff to animal, please. Oh, I know. And I'm sure I, I was reading that one of the most heartbreaking things that you all lost. Uh, were the stuffed animals and the personal items in the home. So hopefully those can be replaced as well. And we do want to point out, again, the parents were all a part of getting those donations <laughs> together. So Thank you. And Mrs. Hilton, they also have a special message for you. So here's another video surprise. Let's roll it. Hi, my name is Heather Halston. I'm one of the moms in Mrs. Hilton's first grade class. Of the 30 years that Mrs. Hilton has been teaching, 20 of them have been spent at Poe Elementary. She has gone above and beyond to engage our children and to make learning fun, especially during this time. She has a special connection with each one of our kids and always finds a way to bring out the very best in them. Today, we would like to honor her and give her a proper send off into the next chapter of her life. Mrs. Hilton, your 2020 first grade class thanks you for your positivity, creativity, dedication, and most of all, your compassion. Each one of your students loves you dearly. The Poe community will miss you, but we wish you the very best. 
Okay, and along with those kind words, how does $275 from the parents sound? They pulled their money and they are gifting that to you. You're also getting, Mrs. Hilton, a $200 gift card to Stanton's Meats, a $50 gift card to Raising Cane's, and a swag bag. <laughs> how do you feel? That, that's, that's amazing. I, I don't deserve it. <laughs> Well, you, you're, you're very humble. You say you don't deserve it, but I know that over the course of the 30 years you spent there at Poe Elementary, you have touched a lot of lives and you will be missed. And I am so glad that through the magic of technology, we could all be here today spending this time together. Mrs. Hilton, before we let you go, any final thoughts? Oh, goodness. Well, <laughs> it's great to see the Rodriguez family again, and I am anxious to continue to see more of the Poe families. Um, you know, we say at Poe, once a raven, always a raven, and I don't know when I'll be back, but I will be back, whether it's Carnival or another time, and um, you know, just to the other teachers out there, you know, you may not always feel appreciated. I, I had my times that, you know, teaching was quite a struggle and, and, you know, you do hear back from those children and those families um, and, you know, little ways that you don't know that you've made an impact in their life and just know that you are all the teachers out there that you are making a difference and you're making a positive impact so keep at it well it's so great to hear your thoughts mrs hilton and of course over your wonderful career 30 years as a teacher 20 of those spent at poe elementary school it's fantastic you have touched more lives than you probably realize and for the rodriguez family jacob and marissa final thoughts from you i know that y'all have been displaced living in a hotel for 70 days you're about ready to move um into your uh home it's being remodeled is that right your new home it is, it is, um, and we're so thankful. Um, it just to really thankful for the community. Thank you, uh, Tracy. Thank you for your dedication to education and imparting in our youth. Um, I just I'm thankful to all of you. I really appreciate it. I think for us, the one message we would say is, you know, if there's ever a question, if there's mold, find out, get an, get an inspector, because there's a whole lot more um, to life than being sick and not knowing why, Anna. <laughs> well said, Jacob, Marissa, Benjamin, and Anna, the Rodriguez family, and Mrs. Tracy Hilton. Best of luck in your retirement and your move to Oregon. We thank you all for your time today. Indeed, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And we will be right back with so more awesome. Houston Life.